Hi, I am back. Uh, my beans are done. And so is my cornbread. I'm about to serve me a bowl. As you see, it's got good thick gravy, which I added. It was already kind of thick, but I thickened it up a little bit more. I started to make some rice, but I'm ready to eat now. So I'm just going to serve me up. I'm not cooking no meat because it's ham and the beans. So I'm just going to eat it just like this. Okay, give me a few ham chunks. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> So those are my beans, and then I'm going to cut me some cornbread. Just came out the oven. I put it on a sheet pan this time because I could not find my other dish that I usually use do my cornbread. I don't know where it is, but I just did this today. So I'm going to taste my beans. Last time I tasted it, it was pretty good. Mmm. They hot. But you can taste that oregano, some onions, green pepper flavor. That smoked ham is banging, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. So, this is the finished product. This is my pinto beans with smoked ham chunks. Um, I just let them cook for about two hours. Now, if I would have soaked them, they would have cooked less than two hours, of course. You can soak them for two hours or an hour to two hours um, right before you're about to cook them and then they will turn out uh, just as great it won't take as long for them to cook they will get tender real fast like that so but I didn't feel like doing that I actually started late cooking so well it's late for me but um, I just went on and just Put them in fresh and uh, that, therefore it took a little longer for them to cook but here are my pinto beans look at that y'all that looks wonderful so i'm about to eat i will talk at you all later bye